Einstein was viewing the world in terms that we consider to be classical physics. Quantum physics was something that didn't really move him in the way that it, it moves physicists today. And in a classical world, you have the situation where if you tell me the state of the world right now, the equations dictate precisely what the world will be like later on. And in that world, it seems virtually impossible to talk about free will at all. The future is locked in place by virtue of the knowledge that you have of it today. In a quantum world, things are a little bit different. The quantum laws do not predict what things will be like tomorrow based on how they are today. They predict the likelihood, the probability that there'll be one way or another tomorrow based on how they are today. Now, some people see in that an opening for free will. They say, aha, it's the choice in some sense of the outcome. That's where we're able to intercede in the unfolding. And the problem is that's utter nonsense. Because the way quantum mechanics works is the outcome from the realm of possibilities is a random choice that comes out of features of the world that we don't even fully understand right now, but we know that it's not something that comes from a volitional decision. So if you learned that the way your particles move was, say, governed by somebody flipping a coin backstage, would that probabilistic freedom give you a sense of autonomy? I don't think so. That's not what we mean by autonomy. That's not what we mean by free will. And, and therefore, the real way of framing this problem, from my perspective, is not whether you're in a classical or a quantum world. It's not whether you have deterministic laws or probabilistic laws. The issue is, do you have laws? Is the universe lawful? Does it progress from here to there by a lawful progression? And if the answer to that question is yes, and I think most physicists, and I think most people think deeply about it, think the answer is yes, then there is no room for the traditional notion of free will because you cannot intercede in that lawful progression.